Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. I've said it before and I'll say it again. All these copper seats should be out of an injectors by now and out of these engines. It's ridiculous. Now, I'm just going to give you some information. A lot of people know and they know better, but this is for the people that don't know and want to learn. So watch and listen very carefully. I'm just going to add this in there as well. Watch the video 10 times. Watch the videos 10 times. You only retain 10% of what you hear and read, etc. Watch it again, watch it again, watch it 10 times. I know I dribble on a bit sometimes, but there's information in there that's very important. Watch it again, watch it again. It's easy to get distracted and miss the important part. Okay, so all the seats you need to use under these injectors are copper. It needs to be sort of soft so that it can flex and squash to make the seal. That's what a gasket's designed to do. If you've got a hard material like alloy or brass, it's not going to work, okay? Now, these older copper washers, that's what was traditionally used under diesel injectors generally. Um, there is some applications that use brass, but look, in these vehicles, that's what's used and that's what needs to be used. Now, by the end of 2007, they came up with a coating that made them last a bit, a little bit longer. How long they last isn't an issue, okay? This set right here, they've done nearly 300,000 Ks. Now, I'm not suggesting you push it out that far. You can see the top one toward the left side, that's where it was leaking. You can see the next, all three of them at the left-hand side is quite thin, the seating area down to what's normally probably two to three millimeters down to maybe a millimeter. And they erode away in the middle. The only reason this lasted so long, look, they vary how long they last, okay? Now, I just want to be clear, the Toyota serv standard service Toyota regime, you know, every 40,000 kilometers, the correct procedure by Toyota, Japan, you know, the engineers, they wanted these injectors to come out every 40,000 Ks and change these seats when you check the valve clearances every 40,000 Ks. Now, we've learned from working on these for years that you do not need to check the valve clearance every 40,000 Ks. It'll be fine. Okay, you check the valve clearance when you go in to change these seats and change injectors, the other way around. That way you don't risk contamination. So I just want to be really clear. You don't go and check your valve clearances and risk contamination when you know they're going to be okay. There's a better chance these seats aren't going to be okay. So you time your works for when the seats need replacing and the injectors need replacing. And while you're in there doing that, you check your valve clearances. Check everything you want to do while you're in there. Check it, adjust it. It's a good time to do it around the timing belt because if they need adjusting or if you're fussy and you've got a 0.19 millimeter instead of 0.2 or something and you want to adjust it your timing belt's got to come off or your camshafts have got to come out so you want to do it the same time as the timing belt if you think you need to adjust your valves or very close to it or otherwise you've got to go back in there again and risk contamination now i'll tell you i don't worry about doing it the same time as the timing belt because we don't see valve clearances out they're always very close to the minimum end of the spec. They get there usually within about 100,000 Ks and they stay the same forever, especially if you've got an EJR solution. Okay, another video you need to keep watching. Watch all the videos. Please educate yourself by going and watching all the videos. There's more coming, so turn on notifications so you get an email, bing, another video, right? Just watch it, you know? Put up with a bit of the dribble so that you learn. It's just to help save your engines, okay? I just want to point out that, you know, it's a genuine thing. I'm just trying to help you here. If I just wanted to make money and sell your parts, I'd say, hey, the book says every 40,000 you've got to check your valve clearances. Here's a seal kit. I want to sell you a seal kit and a set of pipes and whatever, right? You know, timing belts, all the other parts and accessories. Now, I'm not a parts shop. I'm selling you the injector kit so that you get the right, fresh, genuine injectors. People are constantly getting caught out with remanufactured, which if you want to use that, that's fine. We don't believe that you can remanufacture injectors and have them work correctly and last. So do the job once, do it properly. Here's the right parts, all the seals and gaskets you need, a lot of options to go with the kit and the service to go with it and support for years to come, whether it's your injectors or not. You get in the VIP group, ask your questions, give me a call. You supported me, I'm gonna support you. That's a little bonus you get, but I'm here to help. Please watch the videos and learn. The time we recommend replacing injectors is when they're about seven years old Sometimes you get a bit longer, sometimes you get a bit less. They might last 20 years. How long's a piece of string? How long are your tyres going to last? Whatever. It depends whether you want to replace them when they're down to the steel belts or whether you want to replace them when they've got a couple of mil left and they're still safe for your family, right? We're trying to get this job done at the right time so that you don't crack pistons, so that seats aren't leaking, so you don't have blocked oil pickups, which starves your engine of oil and lubrication, which will wreck your turbo and your engine. It's going to cost you 15, 20 grand and a big headache, right? 
Do you need that? No. Keep watching. All right. Enough dribble. There's the seats. They're leaking. They should have been out of engines. 05, 6, 7, 8, 9s. They should all be done already years ago. We should be working on making sure 10s, 11s and 12s are getting done now. The 13 onwards, you know, depending on kilometres, they're probably okay. Start saving and, and so on. Seven years, eight years, thereabouts. Talk to me. If you're not sure, give me a ring. I talk plenty of people out of changing their injectors. So if you're not sure, give me a ring. Let's have a two or three minute quick chat and say, look, and decide, give you a rough idea when you need to change them. The number 0490 261013. I hope you get my picture, guys. All right, take it easy. See ya. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. These are our um, pages on Facebook and groups. Got some others, but they're important ones. And of course, we've got the uh, YouTube channel. You want to subscribe and put your notifications on so you're not missing out or you're going to fall behind with the information. Got lots of information for you coming your way. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.